can I tell you a secret? I wear a hijab. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. It's hijab, not hijack. To me, my hijab symbolizes my independence, empowerment, and my strength in my belief. Yet, some people, keyword, some, believe that we are oppressed. Now, do I look oppressed to you? This is just one of many assumptions around the hijab. Imagine being asked a question every single year, every single season, basically for the rest of your life. Are you hot in that? No, of course not. We have built-in AC. <laughs> Keeping on the topic of weather, another assumption we receive is that people believe we don't need an umbrella when it is raining. It's as if we can magically absorb all that water. Maybe that's why they call us towel heads. Funny enough, I have also been asked, how do I shower with this on? Babes, I use hijab and shoulders all the way. <laughs> on a more serious note, can we talk about the film industry's representation around the hijab, especially Netflix? It is always the same story. A hijabi in high school, she falls in love with a white boy, realizes her parents are oppressing her, and she whips off her hijab. Wow, it's ridiculous. The fact that people believe the hijab overall limits and, opp and, imp and oppresses us. Some of the most successful women are in fact hijabis, shocking. For example, Halima Aden made history as the first hijabi supermodel to feature on the cover of British Vogue. Ibtihaj Muhammad, the first hijabi to represent the United States in the Olympics and, of course, win a medal. Iqbal al-Assad, by age 14, she had begun her first year of medical school and by age 20, she had graduated. Layla Shakely, not only did she intern with NASA, but she co-founded a software company and began developing on robots that intended on reaching Mars. Did the hijab limit or oppress these women? No, of course it didn't. My hijab to me symbolizes my independence, empowerment, my strength in my belief, and most importantly, my freedom. I don't wear this for you. Woo!